Okay, so now we're going to learn how to directly modify the registry using Windows PowerShell. And uh, I'm sure that we all know that modifying the registry directly is a risky proposition, and you've probably heard that it can lead to system instability and your system may not reboot, etc. But sometimes modifying the registry is the best or only way to make a change that fixes or enhances one or many machines in our environment. So PowerShell allows you to treat the registry as though it were just a folder structure. Uh, you'll see that I can change to the registry using the CD command, uh, and I can change to, let's say, HKLM, which is the HT local machine. You may be familiar with that. I hope you are. You also will see that I could change to HKCU, HK current user. And there you see what's the, what's inside of that particular hive. So this particular hive has a lot of particular keys in it, and I'm going to show you how to go in and make a, your own custom sub key. So let's switch here to environment, and you will see that there's nothing really going on inside HP current user environment. So let's let's create something inside of this particular key. So let's create a new sub key using the new item command, specify the path as H key current user, environment, and where I'm currently going to put it is uh, I'm going to call it my sub key. And it returns, showing me that it was created. It shows me information about that. And when I check my environment folder now, I see that there is a sub key in there called my sub key. So let's add a property to my sub key. All right, so I want to create a new property. I use the new item property command, specify the path, and that's going to be in my sub key. Give the property a name, my property, and a value, which in this case will be a very small value. And again, PowerShell returns information showing us what was created. Now, if I want to read the property values in a particular subkey, I use the get item property command and I specify the path of that location in the registry. You can see there's the item properties under environment, under my subkey. Also, you can open up the familiar registry editor utility and you can see that there in the environment is my subkey. There's my very small value. Now let's delete this. Okay, so to delete my property, I use the remove item property command, specify the path, which is going to be the path to my sub key. All right, and then I specify the name of the property I wish to remove. and it's gone. When I go back and again look at the item properties for my subkey, I get nothing returned. Now let's remove my subkey. So for that, I will use the remove item, specify path, and it's gone. 